When we heard about the tribute show, The Cream of Clapton, to be staged in Sydney at the Vanguard, well, we just had to be there. There was a time when I got to about 20, I just got right into Hendrix and Cream. Not so much that Clapton solo stuff, but the Cream stuff particularly. And, and um, I guess that's made, it made a, you know, that era Clapton and Hendrix made quite a big dent in my style. Mm -mm. Did you learn any of these solos for the show or they're, they're already there? No, I sort of just knew... I Actually, I learnt the Beatles one, While My Guitar Gently Weak, yeah, because that was great. it's just such an iconic solo. The whole thing is just totally like... I've listened to it a million times and I've never really learnt it, but I just thought there's no other way to do it. Like you just got to either, either completely change the whole thing or just do it note for note. And I pretty much sort of went note for note for quite a while. <laughs> get the, the, yeah, the, the touch. it's just the fuzz and all that and the tone down. Generally when I play, I play with my tone down a lot anyway, which is what Clapton used to do, but um, it's just sort of how I've developed. <laughs> He was the most influential guitar player probably in the beginning to me, um, after Hank Marvin. <laughs> but Hank Marvin, you know, that was a different thing. But Clapton seemed to change the whole, uh, the whole sound of, of rock, rock and roll electric guitar. Was like everyone in at, at that time, I think, when when Clapton first came out, um, I think uh, that every guitar player that heard him changed in some way. You know, it was a sound, it was called the Clapton sound. You know, mm -hmm. any distorted guitar sound was, was the Clapton sound. <laughs> and they just made one run of them, I think. 
but they were made really well and really high quality components and handmade amp. You know, it's, it's 60 watts, so it puts out about 80. And just that. And I used a Pod XT Live for the effects, uh, cool. which I just used as a pedal board, mm-hmm. just to, to use the distortion from that, you know, and use a reasonably clean amp sound and distort it with that and add a bit of reverb. I usually use a Gibson Les Paul, but, you know, I, I don't really take my old Les Paul on the road or, or to gigs anymore, so I've started to use PRS single cutaway guitars that are uh, kind of similar. You know. For, for starters, he's you know purity, honesty, and where he takes the blues. You know, I think it's quite um, inspirational to me and a lot of other players. He's kind of where he's at now. I saw him uh, live last year at, at the entertainment centre, and I thought I thought he had it. You know, he was playing with Derek Trucks, and um, I thought his tone again was like you know amazing. And I just like the way he improvises now. I mean, obviously you listen to the cl- the cream stuff and you listen to the, the solo stuff, but I think now he takes it even a step further. Mm. I understand you've got a new album coming out. Yeah, it's called uh, Force of Nature. It's got uh, ten original tracks on it. Um, and um, we co- recorded it um, at the Sound Basement in, in Cogra, mastered it in Melbourne, and um, we're quite happy with it. You know, um, hopefully we'll um, you know be doing a tour nationally um, pretty soon. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thanks Thank so you. much. Right. Cheers. <laughs> Has a beer. 